new vehicle sales have been suffering lately with lengthy delays and extensive markups. But manufacturers still have a whole host of new products rolling off their assembly plants and into dealerships. With that in mind, we're looking to the near future, delivering a list of 15 cars, SUVs, EVs, and more that you'll have a chance to buy soon. Toyota is adding to its sedan lineup with the new Toyota Crown. The Crown features a crossover-like body, standard all-wheel drive, an upscale interior, and a 12.3-inch touchscreen running Toyota's latest infotainment system. Power figures for the Crown's base XLE and mid-range limited trims are yet to be announced, but both will feature the fourth-generation Toyota hybrid system powertrain. The top-end Platinum trim, meanwhile, will support the Hybrid Max powertrain delivering 340 net horsepower. Toyota hasn't disclosed pricing, but you can expect more details closer to the vehicle's launch in late 2022. Alfa Romeo expanded its crossover line with the introduction of the Tonale, its second CUV ever. Slotted beneath the larger Stelvio, the Tonale is the brand's first plug-in hybrid vehicle. It will feature a turbocharged 1.3-liter four-cylinder engine with battery assist, delivering 272 horsepower and 30 miles of electric range. The new Tonale goes on sale later this year, but there's no word yet from Alfa on pricing. BMW debuted the XM concept last year, complete with wild styling, a lavish cabin, and a plug-in hybrid powertrain capable of 750 horsepower. Now, that concept will become a reality. The launch version of the XM will deliver 644 horsepower and 650 pound-feet. A more powerful version, expected in 2023, will yield 750 horsepower and 737 pound-feet. The BMW XM reaches production sometime in 2022, but no word on pricing yet. Check out the link above for our first look at the XM concept. The long-awaited C8 Z06 goes on sale later this year, with 670 horsepower and 460 pound-feet thanks to a new 5.5-liter dual-overhead cam V8. That means this supercar can rev to a ridiculous 8600 RPM and will hit 60 miles per hour in just 2.6 seconds. Pricing starts at $106,395. Ferrari's first SUV goes on sale later this year, and while we don't know much about it, Ferrari has confirmed that it will launch with a naturally aspirated V12. Beyond that, rumors suggest it could also offer a plug-in powertrain with a V6 borrowed from the 296 GTB. That hybrid combo produces an insane 818 horsepower and 546 pound-feet in that sporty application, so this could be one fast SUV regardless of the engine. Expect more details closer to the vehicle's unveiling in September 2022. BMW is updating the 7 Series for 2023, and it's bringing along an all-electric model. The new 7 Series features a revised exterior design with larger kidney grills and split headlights. Inside, the 7 Series is packed with tech, including the latest version of BMW's Live Cockpit Plus, iDrive 8, curved display, and an optional 31.3-inch 8K theater screen in the second row. For the first time, the 7 Series will also have an electric variant the BMW i7. The base 740i will start at $94,295, while the i7 starts at $120,295. All versions of the 2023 7 Series are expected in dealerships in fall 2022. After launching the EQE sedan earlier this year, Mercedes-Benz is going big with the EQE SUV. We've seen some spy shots of the vehicle in camouflage, and Mercedes has even dropped a teaser of the interior. Unsurprisingly, the EQE SUV displays the same futuristic styling as its sedan sibling. We're talking about a unique mix of materials, ambient lighting, and an optional MBUX hyperscreen. We don't know much beyond that just yet. The EQE SUV's design, powertrain, and pricing information are still forthcoming. A full unveiling for the model is set for October 2022. The Honda HRV crossover hasn't been significantly updated since its debut in the US back in 2016. For the 2023 model year, the subcompact is finally getting a major overhaul that includes an updated exterior design, engine, and interior options. Honda's plucky crossover will start at $23,650. The Ionic 5 crossover has been one of the most popular EVs of the last year, and Hyundai hopes to build on that momentum with the Ionic 6 sedan. While Hyundai's new EV is technically a 2024 model year car, we couldn't resist mentioning it on this list. After months of spy photos, the Ionic 6 finally made its official debut in July of 2022. The Ionic 6 will offer two sizes for its lithium-ion battery, 53 or 77.4 kilowatt hours. A dual motor version mirrors the Ionic 5's performance with 320 horsepower and 446 pound-feet. The Ionic 6 will also boast an impressive range, When equipped with the larger battery, the single-motor Ionic 6 has a WLTP rating of 379 miles. Fans of the N Performance brand also have cause for celebration. Hyundai recently pulled the veil off the RN22e, a performance concept based on the Ionic 6. 
Lexus is electrifying its lineup and the brand's first EV will be the RZ crossover, a battery-powered sibling to the RX. The RZ will carry two electric motors delivering 308 horsepower and 321 pound-feet with all-weather capability. The RZ will come with a 71.4 kilowatt-hour battery pack supplying an estimated 225 miles of range. The RZ won't be all business though, with some fun options like this yoke-style steering wheel. Lexus hasn't announced pricing yet, but the RZ is expected in dealerships in late 2022. The Kia Niro underwent a slick makeover for 2023. That update includes a fresh exterior design, a modern interior, and the continuation of both the plug-in hybrid and full EV models. That said, the base Niro gets the same 1.6 liter hybrid setup as last year, good for 139 horsepower. Expect to see the hybrid on sale in the US sometime during the second half of 2022. The Honda CR-V has been providing us with practical fun for nearly three decades now, and the revised 2023 model shows no signs of slowing down. The sixth generation CR-V showcases an updated exterior design and Civic-inspired interior styling. It will be offered with either a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine or a two liter two motor hybrid system. Expect the 2023 CR-V in dealerships during the latter half of 2022. Polestar is expanding its lineup with the new Polestar 3, the brand's first electric crossover. The Polestar 3 should borrow elements from the two sedan, including single motor and dual motor layouts. Polestar has already dropped several teasers showing the car's slick design, but we won't know full details until the EV debuts in October 2022. Although we won't get the GR Yaris in the US, Toyota is quenching our thirst for a hot hatchback with the new GR Corolla. A manual-only affair, the GR Corolla will deliver 300 horsepower and 273 pound-feet from a 1.6-liter turbocharged three-cylinder engine. Featuring the same GR4 all-wheel drive system as the Yaris, the GR Corolla will have a selectable 60-40, 50-50, and 3070 front rear torque split. For now, click the link above to see our hot lap with the GR Corolla. Dodge is making a hard pivot toward electrification and the new 2023 Dodge Hornet marks the brand's first steps in that direction. The Hornet will be offered in three trims, the gas powered GT and GT Plus and the plug-in hybrid RT. The ICE only models will be powered by a two liter turbocharged inline four, generating 268 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque with a zero to 60 time of 6.5 seconds. The RT, meanwhile, combines a turbocharged 1.3 liter inline four with a 90 kilowatt electric motor, yielding a total output of 288 horsepower and 383 pound feet with a zero to 60 time of 5.8 seconds. The 2023 Dodge Hornet GT will hit dealerships in December 2022 with a starting price of $29,995. RT buyers will have to wait a little bit longer. It's expected to arrive in the spring of 23 with a starting price of $39,995. And that just about does it. Which of these cars are you most looking forward to? Let us know in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel and follow us on all of your social media using the handle at MotorOne.com. As always, thanks for watching.